Hi my friend, in this video I'm going to show you the difference between a document reference and a page parameter. So a lot of you have been asking me what is the difference between them. So in this video I'm going to show you what is the difference and what are the, the case scenarios that we can use either the document reference or the page parameter. So we're going to see all of that in this video. So buckle up and let's get started. So the first thing we are going to actually take a look at is uh, how to so let's actually get started with uh, the document reference so uh, and uh, the use case of, of both of these are going to be the same in this video so you can see the difference so we are going to use them in the same scenario right so uh, we're going to first add a page because we want to click here navigate to the other page to see the actual data of this particular uh, product right so you want to add a blank page so here in this uh, page we want to mainly see so we just need to see name category and price so don't worry about the design because my goal is to show you uh, the logic not just the design so uh, here so what happened or what i want to actually see is that uh, so here in this list view i want to click on this one and so let's actually give it an action right so here if i click here and uh, so i want to just to navigate to the other page right that is the only thing i want to actually do and uh, this is the case right so when i click here i want to go so here now we are talking about the document reference so how can i actually see the data of that particular uh, pr product just by using his or its document reference so how do you think it's possible so uh let's see how it works so first things first so i'm going to need a document reference so come here and add one and just call it doc right or document reference if you like so it is a document reference from the product which is the only collection we have so uh, let's actually confirm and now uh so we can so here we only have one uh, so here we only have one document or page parameter and since we are using the navigation we need to to fill it so we can just pass that and fill it with this uh, with the reference so and now actually we have done that and uh, so uh, this is going to be easy so if we have given the, the reference to the other page and uh, now to see these three pieces of data I can just come here and add a backend call I want to query one document from the reference the reference is the thing that I have just passed it uh, using the page parameter and navigation so we just want to take that particular document and his so his reference is the one that I have just passed confirm confirm now I can just come here and come here and just so from this backend call take the name category and check the category and the price right so guys you see now uh, this is the first way of doing things so we just uh, with doc with just one so as you can see here i'll just use one page parameter which is the document reference itself and now i have got these three data just by one piece of page parameter so this is uh, the case uh, when using a page parameter now let's move on to the next step and try the same but using just page parameters without ever thinking of document reference so let's go and move on to the next step So in this step, we will try the page parameters for all these pieces of uh, data. So now I have done, I have deleted everything I have done in the uh, in the previous part. So uh, what I'm going to be doing now is to add a page parameter for each one here. So I'm going to be adding three page parameters. So the first one will be so the first one was name, category, and the uh, price, right? String, string, and double. So uh, you can do it by yourself. So now for each one, I'm using that uh, uh, particular uh, field, right? Or uh, no, it is page parameter, right? So now if I want to see the data of that product, I want to come here, back here. And so the first thing that I will have to do in this action, which is in the navigation, I will open it up. And then I will be passing. Uh, so first thing, this is it doesn't exist anymore. So now we have three new uh, parameters to fill. So the name will, will be from this document, the particular document that we have just clicked on. Uh, the same goes for uh, category and uh, uh, the price, right? So this is uh, very easy. And uh, yes, so now we have done that. So now if we went to that page. Uh, so we still need to do something else so this is the uh, 
the uh, an extra work so we have filled the parameter then now we need to use that, those parameters here now for each piece of data we are going to use that parameter that we have just so we have three now we are going to use them all right so we want to come here page parameter the name right come back here again and uh, use the category uh, page parameter and here use the price so guys as you can see uh, this is somehow so you can just give the default value like zero so as you can see here guys this is an extra work so uh, so this is the same and the, the next uh, step I'm, go I'm going to tell you uh, why should you use this and not the other one I'm going to ex explain to you everything so let's actually meet in the next step So guys, after we have seen the differences, now uh, all I can say is that, uh, so if you have just, for example, if you have a homepage here and you only need, uh, so for example, if you have only the name, uh, so for example, if you, have, uh, if you just need uh, to pass the name to the other page, then just use page parameter once and that is it. But if you have a lot of data for each program or each product or each document, then you, since you have a lot, so use the first method, just pass the one parameter, which is a document, and then use that to do a backend call to take all the data out. So again, so it is very simple. If you have one piece of data that you want to take to the other page, then use parameters. If you have multiple data like name, category, price, and if you want to, don't, if, and if you don't like to do extra work, then just use one document reference, paste it to the other page, then do a backend call to see all of the data. So my friend, I hope that uh, all the things that I have said were actually helpful and that I have uh, answered the question which is the difference between document reference and page parameter. If you have any question or concerns, uh, then put them in the comment section. So go now, put them in the comment section and I will be happy to make a video for you to help you uh, with your problem. And if you found this video helpful, then don't forget to give a thumbs up. And also you are welcome to join our Learn No Code community. You can do that just by subscribing to this channel. And if you don't want to miss my upcoming content, then don't forget to turn on the bell icon to be the first one to be notified. And uh, before you leave, if you want to actually work on a real app, uh, to level up your skills then uh, one of these two playlists which is one for making a to-do list app and the other one for making a chat app so check one of them i highly suggest you start with the, uh, so if you are beginner start with the to-do list and if you are in an intermediate level start with the, the chat app right so i just wanted you to check your skills to the next level and uh, so don't forget to check them out so they are on the screen right now and uh, see you on the next video